Lamborghini Invincible and Authentica. To mark the end of its naturally aspirated V12 era, Lamborghini's unveiled two one-off models, one in coupe form and the other as a roadster. Both are designed by Lamborghini Centro Stile. Though both are based on the Aventador, they feature an all-carbon fiber body and a personalized interior. You can see them taking inspiration from unique cars from the past, like the Sesto Elemento, Veneno, and Reventon. In terms of power, the Invincible and Authentica share the same naturally aspirated 6.5-liter V12 engine, making 769 horsepower and 531 pound-feet of torque. Power is transmitted to four wheels through a seven-speed ISR gearbox. In addition, the brand will also launch a replacement for the Aventador using the all-new V12 hybrid powertrain in the next few weeks. Yang Wang U9 Yang Wang is a sub-brand specializing in producing luxury electric vehicles under China's BYD Group. U9 and U8 are the first two cars of the company to be launched, of which U8 is a super SUV. The U9 hypercar has four electric motors that produce a whopping 1,288 horsepower and can sprint to 60 miles per hour in around two seconds. The car will also inherit technology to control each wheel separately through four independent motors placed in each wheel to enhance stability and safety. In particular, the U9 is not a concept, but an upcoming model. It's expected that when launched in China, it'll cost more than a million yuan or about $150,000, which is quite affordable. Bugatti Chiron Profile Inspired by the Type 46, the Profile is oriented to be a model with the impressive performance of per sport, but with a more luxurious design. Bugatti set a new record for the highest amount ever paid for a brand new car at RM Sotheby's auction. This one-of-a-kind Chiron sold for a nearly staggering $11 million. Initially, the Profile was originally developed based on the Chiron, like the Per Sport or the Super Sport. However, the automaker finished production of 500 Chirons ahead of schedule, so only one was built. The company has designed a unique ducktail spoiler to make the car more stable and equipped with shorter gears allowing the vehicle to reach 62 miles per hour in just 2.3 seconds and 124 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds. It has a top speed of 236 miles per hour compared with the Per Sports 217 miles per hour. Venom F5 Revolution The hardcore version of the F5 was developed to be track-focused but still road-legal. Its power remains unchanged with 1,817 horsepower from a 6.6-liter V8 twin-turbo Fury engine. Its top speed is not mentioned, but will undoubtedly be lower than the standard F5. With a series of details designed to improve aerodynamics as well as increase downforce, when operating at 186 miles per hour, the adjustable rear wing can generate more than 800 pounds of downforce. This figure can exceed 1,400 pounds at 249 miles per hour. Weighing in at under 3,000 pounds, it's the lightest variant in the F5 lineup. Only 24 units will be built, and the price of each is $2.7 million. Bertone GB110 The famous Italian coach builder Bertone plans to return to the road with their new hypercar GB110. The engine details are kept secret. Only known that it produces 1,100 horsepower, 811 pound-feet of torque, and revs up to 8,400 RPM. A 0 to 62 mile per hour in 2.79 seconds, 0 to 124 miles per hour in 6.79 seconds, and the top speed is allegedly 236 miles per hour. Power is transmitted to all wheels through a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. It had run on fuel made from plastic waste. With only 33 built, it's likely to come with a hefty price tag. Ford GT Mark IV It was inspired by the racing car of the same name from 1967 and served as the last track-only GT. Only 67 hand-built vehicles will be made in honor of the original Mark IV that won the Le Mans 24 hours in 1967. Its price is around $1.7 million. 
Ford equips the car with a unique twin-turbo EcoBoost engine based on a 3.5-liter V6 engine, which produces an incredible 800 horsepower. Besides the impressive power, the new Mark IV has a different chassis thanks to the extended wheelbase to improve handling. It's also equipped with a racing gearbox, Multimatic's adaptive spool valve suspension, and a reworked body for better aerodynamics. Praga Bohema a Czech automaker with a history of 115 years, Praga, also only producing racing cars 12 years ago, and the Bohema was their first road-legal supercar. It's powered by a 3.8-liter V6 engine of the Nissan GTR, but has been tweaked to help reduce the overall height to 5.5 inches. This lowers the internal engine compartment and prevents the risk of oil spilling when cornering at high speeds. The new twin turbochargers help the engine produce up to 700 horsepower and 535 pound-feet of torque, enough to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in less than 2.3 seconds before hitting a top speed of 186 miles per hour. The car is supposed to weigh 2,164 pounds without fuel. The company intends to produce 89 Bohemas at a price of up to $1.3 million each. Aerial Hypercar Hypercar will be Aerial's first electric hypercar when it launches in one to two years. Hypercar stands for High Performance Carbon Reduction or High Performance Carbon to Reduce Weight. But this is not its final name because the car is still a prototype. It has two versions, four-wheel drive with four electric motors or rear-wheel drive with two motors. The four-motor version will deliver 1180 horsepower sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.09 seconds and 0 to 100 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds. The range is about 150 miles on a full charge in particular. It can also be equipped with a jet engine to recharge the battery. The vehicle rides on an aluminum monocoque with carbon fiber body panels. It's expected to cost less than 1 million pounds, a reasonable price for an electric hypercar.